Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart, and we can see the power of the 20 moving average as resistance in our little downtrend line here. And also, we continue to see that the gold chart is a in a consolidation pattern. Really had to watch 1680 uh, as a notice that here's our wick here, our, right here the gap up to here, uh, all of our wicks here. So we got really got to watch 1680 if we're going to make a run up here to the um, 50 moving average. Uh, but we continue to see the consolidation, but a consolidation higher and higher and higher. So it's interesting because as we consolidate. And move higher, higher, higher. We come down here to volume. See the volume's going lower, and lower, and lower. So typically, that means it's a reversal coming up, possibly off of this uh, 20 moving average. But in the end, um, you know, gold is consolidating, and we have to see what we're going to have to break us out of this. And on our one-hour time frame, as I've been showing you, you can really clearly see this progression higher, higher. You can see how volume is really accumulating here. So we really need to get above again this 1680 price level. To really see us break out and go into a new range, which would give us a run to the 50 moving average. So, consolidation for gold, what does that mean for our dollar currency pairs? Well, here we are with the euro dollar, and we are making that run to the 50 moving average. Looks pretty good, huh? Um, a couple of rising three chart patterns here. We are well above our long term moving average right here, and we are in a sell zone. But we see that the euro is in control and we had a little divergence here as the euro is going up and the dollar is going down and that's really what allowed us to take this move higher here is as the euro really took control right here and we started to see that divergence even though we see that the euro is trending higher against its moving average uh, and the dollar short term is trending higher but long term you can see it's really just within a range our Sellers are fractionally in control, so while we're in a sell zone, we may see a little move back here to uh, neutral and to our long-term moving average, but we're so close to the 50 moving average, I wouldn't be surprised to see us test that 50 moving average and our previous resistance level of 1.39, 1.4. For the pound dollar, we can also see this run to the 50 moving average. We'll have to see. We have closed above our resistance line of 1.57 we're up here now we made uh, a rising three pattern here inside bar we continued in this direction of the trend so that's certainly good um, we also see likewise we are above the long-term moving average and we are in a sell zone here the pound is in control and again you can see when we had all this choppiness here we saw that choppiness in the price action and a little by little, we saw a little divergence here, and that gave us a little pop up here towards the end. The pound averaging higher, while the dollar, although with a couple blips up and down here, really just kind of going sideways. Here, you can see we have sort of a neutral uh, with the uh, sellers and the buyers. Finally, we're looking at the dollar franc, and as uh, the euro and a pound are moving up. The dollar is pulling back a little bit. Of course, the dollar's had a great move here. 
sort of falling three patterns here and now here we are sitting at the support line of 0.8923 and of course we have the 200 moving average here and we have our uptrend line so we have a, a lot of support that should stand up here we'll have to see but we have several falling three patterns into this support price level now we are below our long-term moving average and notice that we're below the 0.8992 that we've been watching on a one hour time frame here it acted as support resistance 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 so we'll have to see, but we're below our long-term moving average, and we are in the buy zone. Fractionally, the franc took control here. We see that franc averaging higher, and again, dollars going sideways with a little pop-up here towards the end. And down here, we can see ever so slightly the uh, sellers are in control. So we'll have to see if that selling can get us to our uptrend line here, or since we're in a buy zone, will the buyers... Uh, take control and try to get us back up to parity. Well, if you remember the last time we got together, we had the mother load of options for our watch list, um, both the low volatility and the inside bar. Well, with such uh, consolidation and breathing by the market, we did get several uh, breakouts in the direction of the trend. And so today, for inside bar watch list, we have none. And for our low volatility watch list, we also have none. As we move on to our education spotlight, we've been talking about the importance of trading plans. We've been talking about the importance of cut your losses, let your winners run. And of course, uh, uh, live to trade another day so that you can let your probabilities work in your favor. Well, the other thing that we have to talk about that falls into this category is risk and determining what type of trader you're going to be. Would you prefer to be a trader that takes trades to give you a 100% return, but they only work 10% of the time? Or would you rather be a trader who gets 50% gains and it works 60% of the time? You know, so to give you a baseball analogy, do you want to be Adam Dunn or do you want to be uh, Pete Rose? You want to be Barry Bronze hitting home runs the majority of the time, or do you want to strike out? Uh, or do you want to be Pete Rose who can get on base a lot uh, but doesn't always go for the home runs. You know, are you a power hitter or are you a, a percentage hitter? Those are the things you have to consider about. And and there's there's, you know, plus and minuses to both of those. But you have to determine what type of trader you're going to be. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook. Are you financially literate? We have our free five video course on high probability trading. It's a framework. It gives you an idea of the things that you need to be including to qualify as a high probability trade. We also have our uh, mentorship program that if you take our free course, we'll give you a gauge as to who we are as coaches. We can work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you determine are you a home run hitter or are you a uh, on-base percentage guy. Rebates for your trades. Why not get paid a trade? It doesn't change your spread, your trading conditions. There's rebates for your trades. And finally, if you want signals, we have those for you too. You can get them traded uh, automatically or you can get the signals and trade them for yourself again if you want to get signals that are home runs or you want to get signals that are more on base we have those providers for you in the end it does make a difference about your system or your indicator or your signals if you can't pull the trigger or more importantly if you can't live to trade another day and let their probabilities work in your favor thanks guys and i'll see you next time